Hi, Mark McKinley from PacTV, and we're going to go over how to install Zoom on your smart device and also how to use it to join and participate in a meeting. First thing we're going to do, let's go to your App Store. So to, if you have an iDevice or an iOS device, that's going to be the Apple uh, App Store. If we're going to go with an Android device, that's going to be the Google Play Store. And when you go to your App Store, you want to simply search for Zoom. With that, you're going to look for the Zoom Cloud Meetings app and go ahead and install that. I've already done that on this device and this is what the icon would look like. And let's go into Zoom. Now, once you open that device, we want to go ahead and join a meeting. That's going to be the blue button down here on the bottom. You'll be given a unique meeting ID, kind of like a uh, nine digit number that you'll use to actually participate in the meeting. Once you type in that ID, just simply hit join. Now, first thing we want to do, let's make sure and join with video because we want to be able to see you as well as hear you. So I'm just going to tap on join with video. The next thing is that to be able to hear the others, you want to join your audio as well. So you want to call using internet audio. Now, once you've done that, you want to check in with the facilitator or the moderator of the meeting to make sure they can hear you and see you as well. Once that's complete, simply mute the audio on your device. What I'm going to do, I'm going to tap and up in the uh, corner there, we're just going to simply tap mute. So now let's take a look at using the Zoom app on a smartphone. It's already installed here. And now we're going to uh, join that meeting ID again. Once again, we want to uh, join with video because we want to be able to see you. And next, we also want to call using internet audio. That's going to allow everyone to hear you. So now, once you've joined in with the internet audio, you want to go ahead and check in with the facilitator or the moderator of the meeting, make sure they can hear you and see you. Once that's complete, let's go ahead and mute your microphone. With a uh, smartphone, it's a little bit different interface. So I'm just simply going to tap on the screen and then down in the lower left corner, I'm going to press mute. The other unique thing about using a smartphone is that you're going to be able to see what's actually going out over the air but also, if you were to swipe to the left, you're able to see the other devices or the other people joined in on your meeting in this gallery view. And that allows you to see everything. So now you've joined the meeting, you have muted your microphone. So when you're ready to speak, just simply raise your hand. The moderator or facilitator will see that you uh, want to be recognized. And then once they have recognized you, you can begin to speak. Another thing to keep in mind too, everyone is going to be able to see you participating in this meeting. So you certainly want to be aware of your surroundings. Kind of isolate yourself in like a home office or bedroom. Also keep in mind, you don't want to be standing in front of a window. That's going to be too much light coming in from behind you. We won't be able to see you well. So certainly, you know, stand in front of a, uh, a blank wall or a wall with a fancy picture, maybe even a bookshelf. Another thing too, camera orientation. So what is that? Nine times out of 10, we're holding our phones just like this, and maybe even our tablet as well. But whenever you're participating in a video conference using Zoom, be sure to turn it on its side, landscape mode is what they call it. And that way we'll be able to see a full picture of you. Another thing to keep in mind too, use some earbuds. And uh, make sure it has a microphone in it as well, too. We can hear you a whole lot better as opposed to actually having you hold your phone in your hand. Microphones are right along the edge. And we'll be able to hear movements of your hand along the side of your device. When you are participating in a video conference using Zoom, be sure and have your device plugged up and charging as well. That way you won't run out of battery power in case the meeting runs long. 
Also keep in mind, every meeting ID is going to be unique. So be sure and use that exact same number that is sent to you in the email, and that way you'll join the correct meeting. So when you're scheduled to participate in a meeting, be sure and test out your connection at least a couple of hours before the meeting happens. And then of course, once meeting time is approaching, you want to be sure and connect to the studio 15 minutes before the meeting actually airs. And that way we can test out everything. And remember, whenever you've joined into a Zoom meeting, everyone is gonna be able to see everything you're doing with your camera. So be aware of where your camera is pointed. Of course, if you have any questions, feel free to contact us here at PAC-TV.